We have a van filled with improvised explosives, stun guns, and even bear spray at Saturday's Capitol Hill riot is now a key piece of evidence for Seattle police. Detectives are opening a more focused investigation into the people behind the fires, the destruction, and injuries to 59 Seattle police officers. Cabo 7's Gary Horker has more now from the area where the van was found. And Gary, police say the explosives they found were comparable to dynamite. Yeah, they told us that the explosives were actually tied together with duct tape, and some of them had nails attached, obviously, to do maximum amounts of damage. Now, they found all of this evidence in a van that was abandoned outside the East Precinct when police were moving the rioters away. And they say moments after that van pulled up, a powerful explosive blew an 8-inch hole all the way through the wall of that building. Peaceful protesters do not show up with a van full of bear spray, stun guns, spike strips, and explosives. Chief Carmen Best said her detectives found an arsenal of dangerous weapons rioters used to injure police officers and burn down buildings. Left inside an abandoned van were improvised explosives, bear spray, stun guns, and homemade spike strips, which were used to flatten tires on officers' bikes. Detectives say the discovery of explosives taped together with nails attached explains a lot about the injuries to 59 Seattle police officers during Saturday's riots. These are caused by these uh, pyrotechnic explosives that they are taping together, taping the fuses together, and increasing the amount of explosion uh, fourfold easily. Arson detectives showed an area where a Molotov cocktail was used to firebomb five construction trailers at the King County Youth Services lot, and the confiscated van was seen nearby handing out weapons and protective gear. Investigators say bear spray is many times more powerful than the pepper spray they use. With the uh, orange type of chemical. And it's a federal offense to use it on people, yet it was sprayed on officers. Mayor Jenny Durkin compared notes with Portland's mayor, and in both cases, rioters appear organized with specialized protective gear and rehearsed actions. But they train and practice on what they call de-arrest, so that if an individual is arrested by the police, a number of people will swarm and try to pull that person away from the police. Gary, we have a lot of protests every year in this city. This is a bit unusual here. Uh, the chief said even after five trailers were burned on county property, uh, cars were smashed, a Starbucks looted, set on fire, and so many police injuries from those explosives, they still haven't arrested anyone in connection with any of those crimes. No, that's right. Both she and the mayor acknowledged that. But this investigation may only begin, be beginning because the obvious question that we ask the chief is, if you have a van that's abandoned that's loaded with evidence, wouldn't you just check the registration? Wouldn't that lead to obvious suspects? She wouldn't touch that question at all. But clearly, they're just getting started. This is going to take some time. And as they inform us, we'll keep you posted. Dave? All right, Gary Horker tonight. Thanks.